Good afternoon. Whether I include me setting up the camera because I look like an absolute tit, I don't know. But um, so the video today that you are going to see, I will probably be already driving to Detlin or in the process of about to leave to go. Hang on, no, I would be on the way to Detlin. Apologies. I just reached for my phone. It's half past two, Thursday 22nd of August. That's the first thing that I wanted to do because I always do date and time. However, this video will be published tomorrow um, and normally when I do a date and time, it's a couple of months after I've done the video that I actually publish it. But for this time, it is being published tomorrow as a filler video. Um, I'm in the middle of processing some Marbury footage, that is exactly what I wanted to tell you. I've remembered. I've been sat here for like 10 minutes trying to remember what I wanted to tell you. Uh, Marbury video footage, I personally wasn't able to get any. I was on the battlefield. I took a pinhole camera with me with a pen attached. Um, tried to video on the battlefield and the pen didn't work. The ink worked in the pen, but the pen camera part uh, didn't work, which I'm really gutted about. Um, that is something I was really looking forward to doing. Um, so the event this weekend is Detlin, which is Military Odyssey. Odyssey down in Kent we are guests as part of SOSCAN, the Southern Skirmish Society, um, who also do American Civil War Southern based. If you don't know what I'm talking about I have put their uh, website link in the link below of this description of this video. Let's try talking English again shall we. Um, I have put SOSCAN's link for their website as they are the southern half of the, an American Civil War reenactment society basically in the description below the video here so if you are interested in looking at their page or what event we're at this weekend i've also linked the military odyssey website down below as well i need to remember to do that after this after videoing this i'm videoing this now so i can quickly edit it won't need much editing so i'm just rambling on and then whack it up ready for tomorrow um like i say back to the topic marbury i was on the field with a pinhole camera wanted to do that and then put battle footage up of being on my chest, of being what it is like in person facing outwards um, from me on a point of view basis, that's the word I was looking for. That didn't unfortunately work. Um, I now have some very nice people in our society who have actually videoed the event and they're gonna send me some video footage. So um, I just need to process all of that, get that edited and then it will be published. So it might be that I maybe do the whole videos, that's the next set of videos to be published um, first, as of next Friday, and then after Hull I maybe post the Marbury Battle, but um, I will publish the Marbury Battle, I just, or battle footage of bits that I have, I just need to make sure, why is my phone going off when I'm trying to video? I just need to make sure that I have um, an, enough to put on, otherwise I'll put a few clips within a mixer video like this kind of thing. Um, events left for the rest of the year now, we have Events been and passed, right, so we started with Merton Park was the first one up in North Yorkshire, the second one was uh, No, it wasn't Hull Maybe it was Hull Possibly Hull, I don't know, I'm gonna try, I'm trying to think about videos that I've done, so I'm now gonna have a have a look while you're on the thing so I can remember. I know what events I've been to, I just don't know what order they were in. Um, when you do quite a few every year it is a lot more difficult to remember. It was Merton Park first. Merton Park, let's get started Merton Park, preparing for Merton Park. Okay, I was right. Oh, I've just seen that there's an attempting sewing video on here. I don't know if you can see my phone. No, you're not really. There's an attempting sewing video halfway down my phone. Um, 
I haven't actually finished that sewing video. I've done part one. Part two is the trousers and the trousers are still in the cupboard, not sewed. Anyway, um, Merton Park was first, which I said. And then it was Avoncroft. Ah, see, that's where I got mixed up. It was Avoncroft, then Marbury. And that's as far as we've got. Then it's Hull, which I just said for next week. Um, and then after Hull was... Doncaster? No, that's a lie. Bloxham. And then after Bloxham was Doncaster. And then that was last weekend. And then this weekend is Detlin Military Odyssey. That's down in Kent. Um, and then next week... Am I missed one out? No, no, I haven't. And then, um, not next weekend, but the weekend after. Two weekends time is... Uh, Moira, which is a uh, guest event that we've been invited to. Um, it's up near Worcester, I believe. It's Moira Fur Furnace Museum. It's got a canal. We've done that event before. It's, it's a really nice location. Really small location, but really, really good to, to go and do. I might day trip to that one. We'll see. Or maybe just go up on the Saturday and then stay overnight. And then one after that is Upton, um, which I'm most looking forward to as Upton replaced Spetchley which if you look on my previous videos from previous years, we have Upton and then especially prior to that, which used to be one of my favourite events of the year. So we're hopefully the biggest one for us as an American Civil War Society. The biggest event that I'm going to this year is Detlin, which is tomorrow, this weekend. Um, the August bank holiday, just because it's, it's multi-period. It's, it's multi-period, multiple histories. Multiple histories, that's what multi-period means. Um... And there's so many people that go and Soscan tend to have a good turnout. So I think there'll be a lot of people there. Um, in terms of videoing this weekend, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to video. It's not my society. It's, it's a Soscan society. Whether they even know I do YouTube and do this, I have no idea. I will try and obviously get video footage and do our street and our camp line. Um, and then I'll see what's going on in terms of videoing the rest of the guys and what they're doing. I have to remember that I am portraying 1860s lady camp, lady camp, lady around camp, um, or um, I might do some man stuff this weekend, man stuff, um, and dress as a, a gentleman, a gentleman, a Union Army soldier, um, and be in the lines instead. I am taking spare kit to, to be, enable me to do that. Um, they do have an itinerary for this weekend in the beer tent, so I believe Saturday night is fancy dress night or posh uniform night. So I have got out my blue dress. Oh, that means I need to move, which I will quickly turn around. There is my blue dress. She is there hanging up. I did make sure, you're going to see a horrible view of my face. There we go. I did make sure that she fitted me before I hung her on the hanger ready to go in the car. And I've got hoops to go underneath. Now, I wanted to leave a lot of space in the car. I want to also show you the car right now, and I can't. It's currently in the garage being worked on because it had an awful scratching, scraping noise underneath it um, where the brake pads are just starting to go so it's just catching on the metal so it sounds awful like nails on a chopping board noise um, and then I already knew my bearing um, front ball joint sorry, needed uh, replacing because it was knocking so they're going to do two and one and do both of those today still waiting for the phone call to say it's been done um, and as time goes on I get worried a bit more because I really want to pack stuff in the car and I haven't fully packed it yet uh meeting sam tomorrow so i will video obviously doing that you won't see that in today in, in tomorrow's video um picking all the kit up from his house tonight yeah i think that's everything to be honest i think do i need anything else or to say anything else no if i get enough video footage this weekend at detlin i'll have enough footage for Probably until Christmas, even if not a bit longer. And that's good because I want to keep them going. But that's just random crap that you don't need to hear about. Or do you? I don't know. Um, no, I really don't think there's anything else which is pressing or important that I need to tell you. Um, this weekend, like I say, I've packed extra stuff that I wouldn't normally pack, although the car seems to have less in. I have now drilled holes. Oh, that's something I can tell you, because I think I partially videoed it. I've drilled holes in all of the 
all of the poles already had holes in the on the roof you've seen that in previous videos any new poles that we've accumulated um, or are taken on as if we bought a new a-frame um, I've now drilled holes through all of those so they now go on the roof and they're tied down so they are on the roof now ready to go there was no point in me unpacking from last weekend to repack for this weekend so I've sort of unpacked but not out of the car I've sort of repacked the car kind of wording I don't know if you can hear that but it's super windy and my windows are on the latch um yeah I, I really don't need to give you that much more information about anything that we're doing this weekend um thanks for watching and tune in next week hopefully we'll have some whole footage oh i'm an idiot I did forget one more thing that I wanted to tell you, which I'm actually quite excited for. You might see my live short a couple of weeks back where I published Northampton. That's the event we've just done. So it was Doncaster, then Bloxham, and then we've just done Northampton, and now this is Detlin. That's not a part of this extra clip, but I've just remembered it. Anyway, oh, what an idiot. Um... <laughs> I published a video not so long ago, I, perhaps it was at Doncaster, where I um, got to over 100 subscribers. I was sat in the tent line and I just said to the five people sat around me, oh, I've got 99 subscribers, hopefully I'll hit 100 subscribers this weekend. And then they all pulled their phones out, went onto my YouTube channel and subscribed. So I had 103 then. Um, and I was like, ah, oh, yes, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, thank you for everyone who has subscribed already. Although... Um, you probably all think I get paid for now having 100 subscribers. That's not how YouTube does it at all. You have to have X amount of views, X amount of subscribers, X amount of likes and comments and, and things like that, which I'm not necessarily aiming for. I just want people to know about the American Civil War and what I do as a hobby and how I find that enjoyable. Um, that's, I, that's what I wanted to say was thank you, basically. If you can continue to like the videos, if you can't subscribe because you don't want to get pestered, um, or see my YouTube videos pop up when you load your YouTube up every time, that's fine. I'm not going to force you to do that. But if you don't mind liking and sharing it so other people can see it, especially if you're a fellow reenactor of mine and you know that you have other reenactors who do other periods, they might want to see what you do and see you on the videos. And if you're not already on my videos and you're part of the American Civil War Society, then maybe I haven't seen you this year, but majority of people have already been. So yeah, do do keep liking, sh subscribing and sharing. That is appreciated. Thank you.